it's me again. Today's date is Monday, May 9th, 2022. It's been a while since I made a video. I've been trying to work on a few different projects plus my day job at work. Uh, but we do have some events lined up in the next few weeks. Actually, we have events tomorrow. Not necessarily MMTLP related. They're at least meta related for tomorrow. And let me start off by saying I got my first YouTube sponsor. It's Zenith Glasses. Think of Mike Tyson saying the word Zenith. You know, Mike Tyson is a big fan of us pigeons. Uh, you know, like Zenith Electronics, the Zenith Hour. It's Mike Tyson saying Zenith. So Zenith, uh, Z-I-N-F-F, -F, Zulu, India, November, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. So let's take a look at these glasses from Zenith. And these are linked below uh, with these awesome glasses. So I got them from Zenith. It comes in this pretty sturdy box. Uh, with the little pull tab. It's a pretty sturdy box. Uh, and it comes with a microfiber cloth, which is nice because you can clean your glasses then. These are not the super thin lenses, by the way. These are like, they're 1.64 index lenses. Uh, again, link in the comment below with Zenith. And they sell plastic and wireframe glasses there. And basically, you have to know your prescription. You type it in, and they're good to go. I realized after getting this, I have to go back to the eye doctor because my prescription in my left eye has changed. And I will go over why, but let's finish with Zenith. Uh, so I will put them on. And these are my lovely new glasses. They're a bit wider than these glasses, but uh, the Zenith website, they will tell you what size. I have a small head, so these are 135 millimeters from edge to edge of the frame, whereas these are like 127. So these are a bit wider, as you can see, but these are actually lighter. Uh, so you, it's best to know like the width of your current glasses and the bridge of the nose before you get uh, any glasses online because that's the thing with online. You don't have really somebody to like fit them on your face and tell them if they're too big or too small. The cool thing about Zenith is if they don't fit, they will you just email them back and they'll refit them for you within 30 days. So it's pretty cool. If the glasses don't quite fit. Let them know, they'll refit it for you, which is kind of cool customer service right there. Uh, let's compare this to my current prescription because I'm blind as a bat. Uh, that's my current glasses. You can see how thick they are. These glasses are not the super thin lenses, by the way. These I got in Germany. Uh, and these are the Zenith glasses. So the frame is wider, but the lenses are actually thinner. So I like that, but they also offer the super high index lenses, the 1.74 high index. But here's my glasses. Uh, I think they're kind of cute. I like the pink, they're tortoise shell. Plus with these glasses, they have uh, this little hole at the end. So if you want like a an elastic strap to keep them on your head, if you're active like me and you're running and working out or riding horses and the sweat's pouring down, you want glasses that are gonna stain your face. Especially riding horses, right? Those glasses are just going to fly off. So these are my new glasses from Zenith. And let me tell you some more about Zenith. Zenith is an eyeglasses company with several styles for both men and women. As you can see, there are many styles to choose from. There are over nine different frame categories for women. If you go over to men, you will see that there are also many styles to choose from. You could be a grandpa. You could be Harry Potter. You could be somebody new. The 80s retro look is rather in right now with the mustache and mullet. Why not accessorize yourself with some new glasses? Are you looking for sunglasses? Fear not, Zanif has those too. They can give you prescription sunglasses and polarized lenses. So for those who wear glasses, fear not, you will have sunglasses for driving. And polarized sunglasses see through the water on a sunny day. Got reflection on the water? No problem. Wear some polarized sunglasses. 
Okay, and if you would like your own pair of Zenith glasses, please go to the link below. I have an exclusive code for you guys. The code is Julie50. That's Julie50. With this code, you get 50% off your frames and 10% off lenses. Let's get into today. So uh, it's, it's after, it's May 11th, and today's Monday, and tomorrow is the 10th, which it's the last day for Meta Materials to submit their Q1 filing, which last week they came out with a press release saying that, hey, we're going to have the filing after hours on Tuesday. So official press release says we're going to have an the after hours for Q1, that's when the earnings will be. Consequently, the next day they have a presentation. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be related to the earnings call. And it's going to be a canned presentation. It's just going to say where the company is headed, giving you some forward-looking statements. And as we know, according to the Q4 10K earnings call... Uh, Ken Rice stated that the only source of income Meta has right now is through nanotech. Of course, that could change. So I, I'm assuming this is all the, the income's all going to come from nanotech. They might talk about some additional patents. Maybe we'll see. It's once this is completed is when I think we're going to start to see stuff for MMTLP. Once that earnings out of the way. Sometime between the earnings presentation and June 1st is when you are going to see the S1 announcement from Meta Materials in regards to the preferred share dividend, otherwise known as MMTLP trading right now. But you're going to see an announcement then. With that announcement, it's going to come a new record date. A consultant, Mr. John Berta, has stated there will be a new, a, a new record date going forward with this. Uh, again, there's people who say otherwise. That's their opinion. My opinion right now, as stated by John Berta, is that there you will see a new record date with this announcement. Things could get wild for MMTLP. As it is on the OTC, a lot of people will try to tell you that the OTC is disadvantageous. However, I disagree with this. Uh, in some instances, it can be rather advantageous, especially if there's a high demand for shares. If there's a high demand for shares and the price starts going volatile upwards, a lot of exchanges such as NASDAQ will create halts. And that gives market makers time to catch up. OTC, however, does not have any halts. It doesn't have that. It's Wild West. So the price could get volatile and market makers don't have time to catch up. That could really work in our favor. Uh, I've told people on Twitter I have price limits where I've set my sell limits on this. I know. I've calculated the dividend out to be several times, and this doesn't account for the gas. It was just the oil. It doesn't account for the gas. I've been also in my time away, I've been evaluating more and more gas prices. I'm going to get into some math with that. I'm waiting for information to come out on the gas, but I can go over some brief information with you about the gas and how to calculate what the gas price is going to be based on gas, based on current, like, evaluation prices of gas. Like I said, I've been working on this. Uh, you know, it, it can get great uh, depending on how much gas there is with the Ore Grande. And thus, we can give a market price for MMTLP accordingly if the price goes up high enough. Again, I'm not going to sell this. It's I c I'm fine with waiting out for the dividend, but if the price of MMTLP somehow exceeds that dividend that I've calculated out, I'm fine with selling. And I know what the, you know, I've calculated the price over and over again. I have my sell limits personally at 75, but you start your sell limits, you know, that's where it starts for me. You set your sell limits accordingly. It's your money, your choice. So let's talk about how you evaluate natural gas. Okay, I apologize. I'm just like all over the place and I'm already like on take five of this video. 
So let's talk about how we evaluate the natural gas. This took a while to get this information. Natural gas is evaluated at $0.0034 a cubic foot. So that's 10 cents, one cent, thousandths of a cent. So, you know, if that's a penny, it's a third of a penny per cubic feet of gas. A barrel oil equivalent has 6,000 cubic feet in it, or 6 MCUF. 1M means 1,000. 2Ms means a million. Okay. 6,000 cubic feet a barrel. Now, you might see numbers change. I'm getting tired, but I had to make sure the math was correct. This is per 1,000 cubic feet. Today's oil price, May 9th, 2022. It's about $7.04. It's very high. After your COGS price taken out, your cost of goods sold, you're grossing at least $3.40, $3.40 per 1,000 cubic feet. Times 6, or 6,000 times this multiplier, that's about $20 per barrel oil equivalent. Now we have a base wise to evaluate the gas. And there are three scenarios. There's high, medium, and low. Today I'm going to do the high and then I'm going to do the medium. And then the next episode I'll do the low. But the low still winds up being like $3 a share. So just to let you know on the on the gas alone, the minimum amount of gas, about 3 bucks a share. I know it sounds crazy, right? The math is there. Double check the math. Again, this is some new math we've evaluated. So... Uh, in that regards, I would like, it took me some time to figure this out. So again, I made some calls. I spoke with people. I've been researching this for the past several weeks now, how to evaluate gas. This has come up. Okay. We know at the Or Grande, there's a maximum estimated maximum of 5.1 billion barrels of oil equivalent, equivalent that's oil plus gas. And how many barrels is in a BOE if it's just gas? It's 6,000 cubic feet of gas is one BOE. So if you have 6,000 cubic feet of gas, that's one barrel oil. Next bridge says we have 3.2 billion barrel oil, actual barrels of oil. So if you subtract the two, then you're left with up to, up to. doesn't have to be this number. It's up to this number. This is the high end. 1.9 billion barrel oil equivalent. So you multiply that by 6,000. How much gas is that? That's 11.4 trillion cubic feet. That's very, very high. A billion's a number with nine zeros after. A trillion has 12 zeros. That's a lot of zeros. So I just put a T. 11.4 trillion. You evaluate gas. The multiplier for gas per cubic foot is this is in dollars. 0 .0034, 0 0.0034, you multiply it out, you get 37, or you multiply those two numbers, you get 38.7 billion times 10% in ground multiplier. That could be as high as 20 for a resource play and up to 30 for a conventional play, but we'll say 10 for the or grande. Give it that discount, it's far out. You're left with $3.8 billion minus torches cut 66.5%. You're left with torch gets $2.57 billion. $2.57 billion minus the holdback dividend of 10%. So we multiply it by 90%. We're left with $2.1316 billion divided by 165 million outstanding shares. This is up to max amount. 14 extra dollars on the dividend, 14 extra dollars, up to 14 extra dollars on the dividend. Now, 11 is a high number of gas. 11 is a high number. So let's take an average. Math done. Whew. All right. If you take 3.7, that was like the median 3.7 BOE on the torchlight presentation. The difference between that is half a billion barrel oil equivalent. On the upside, 1.9 billion barrel oil equivalent, which you get by subtracting these numbers. If you average those two together, you get 1.2 billion barrel oil equivalent times 6,000 cubic feet.
feet of gas per BOE, you're left with 7.2 trillion cubic feet of gas. That's still a lot of gas. 7.2 trillion cubic feet of gas times the multiplier, 0.0034. You get 24.480 billion times 10%. That's your in-ground multiplier for resource play. 2.48 billion times torchlights cut 66.5%. You get 1.6492 billion dollars. Tax non-taxable event. So you minus the holdback dividend 10%. 1.48 billion divided by 165 million shares. You are left with eight dollars and ninety-nine cents. So look for, you know, around $8 extra, I want to say. $8.99, $8 extra. But we don't know how much gas is in there yet. There might be 500 million barrel oil equivalent of gas, or there might be 1.9 billion barrel oil equivalent gas, which if you multiply it out, it translates to there's lots of cubic feet of gas. It substantially raises our dividend. If you talk about an $8 raise, that 29 to 46 now goes to, you know, 37 to 54. And this is why I have my MMTLP sell price starting at $75. This is just my personal opinion. It's your money, your choice. You do how you want it. You don't even have to play. You can just... Just watch my videos. Great. Maybe this plays isn't for you. Sorry, I ate like a pizza with red peppers and I have red pepper seeds in my teeth now. I'm trying to do this video on the fly in between like on my lunch break. But that's the math. Uh, you're looking at gas wise anywhere from, <laughs> I know it's broad, you know, anywhere from $30 to. Uh, it's, you know, $8. It could be all the way up to $14. But let's say $8 to be more conservative. Wow. It depends. I hope there's a gas report that comes out soon uh, with the next bridge. I hope there's some PR at that gas, too. Because so far, we've seen the oil, but we haven't really seen anything about the gas leaked out. So if the gas is still within that range, uh, terrific. That's a lot of gas. You know, it could go numerous ways. Anywhere from $30. $8 to maybe $14, depending. That's great. A share. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'll probably comment tomorrow after the earnings come, come out on Wednesday with the presentation. And remarks about that from Meta. But I don't expect them to have anything on MMTLP. I'm looking post-presentation to see our information. I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.